Hey guys, what's going on? This is That Home Theater Dude, AKA Chris. I am here um, helping out Dream Media. We are going to do something that is not necessarily well known throughout the community, so I'm letting you guys know about it now. Every time I look on the internet, there really isn't a video for this. I, I learned this from Chris from JVC. He actually helped me um, do this in my personal theater as well. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be aligning these panels. Um, as I showed you in a previous video, we don't have to come up here right now, but um, typically what you wanna see is on this panel or even just any line in general, you're going to have a you're going to want a white line, right? So what you have in in your in your projector is an RGB um, light shining on here, and they converge, and then they create a white line. So now, if if you're looking over here, you don't have to look now, but these are a little bit out of whack. So what I'm going to do is I do this at every single customer's house that I go into because I personally do this at my house now. I'm going to make sure all the panels are aligned, and then we're going to have a really crispy image afterwards. But we're going to get into all that right after the intro. Alright guys, so now this is one of those things where you can really get lost in the sauce if you don't know what you're doing and also if you're a really perfectionist, you can just take forever to do this. But typically what I do is I pick one spot on the screen and that's what I focus on, right? So if you're looking over here, I'm going to show you even how to get to this. So we're on the JVC remote. You can do this with a lot of other um, Elcos or XSRD, XXRD type of projectors. Pretty much anything that has a panel, you can do this with it too. So this is very common, it's called lining the panel. So in JVC, you're going to go to menu, all right? And then once you're in menu, you're going to go to pixel adjust. And now a lot of the times this isn't even on there, so make sure you, you switch this to on. And then you can have the whole area or just part of the area. I like to switch this one to red. And then this one, you have to adjust pattern, you have to switch that to on, otherwise you're not gonna be able to do it and then you skip past it, go to fine, right? So we're gonna go to that. So that brings us to this. That puts up a lot of squares and a lot of different areas. So like I was talking about, pick one spot because if, if you look over here, it may not be exactly the same thing that happens there. You can get every single one of these quadrants done 100% of the time, but it just takes more time and effort. So what I do is I pick one area, focus on that, typically one crosshairs, and then that's what I worry about. So. I'm gonna be focusing on this one right here. And if you pop off the lights real quick, you can see that there is an RGB in there, right? So you see the red very clearly on that top line. And then right here, it's not a white line because if all of them were together, it would be a white line. So you have to do that top and bottom and left and right. So over here, we're, we're focusing on red. If you look at this one, horizontal negative one, uh, vertical 13. So let's just focus on one for right now. So let's focus on red. So I'm gonna go up and down. So I'm gonna sweep it all the way to the top. If you're looking at this red, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, right? So it's easier to do this starting off so you understand what's going on. And if you're looking over here, it looks like a 3D <laughs> type, type of image. Um, like, like whenever you're looking at comic books as a kid, it's a little bit hard on the eyes. So next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go in there and you're gonna press picture mode, right? So then it changes it to blue over here. So now it's blue. So now what I do is I rack all the way down, just like we did rack focus. So now you move that blue down. So let's check this out. Once it gets all the way down, you can really appreciate the red, the green, and the blue. So we're doing this vertically, right? So now what you do is you can bring the red, or you can just bring it back up. So let's put the blue, raise it back up, and if you focus over here too at the same time, you're seeing that this is changing. So the blue is going vertical again. I'm focusing right over here. Once these get in line, you'll notice that the blue disappears and then the, the middle color will change colors. So you don't wanna have any blue showing on the bottom. You don't wanna have any blue showing on the top. You want it all to converge on the same one. I still see a little more blue. So let me go a little more up. And I think that's good. So now to change again, since we're on blue, because if you press up and down again, you're gonna be messing with blue. So you have to go in there press picture mode, it's gonna change it to red. Now you start bringing the red back down. So now that the red is physically moving down, it converges on that line. It's still going, still going, still going. And now it's white, it disappeared. So there's no red above it, there's no red below it, it's just disappeared and that's what you want. So now that you're done with that, let's focus on red again. So now let's go left. 
because you have to do it vertically and horizontally. So now you see the horizontal is moving left. And if you come back over here, you can see it again that the red is creeping out from that line. So now you have a solid red line. Again, picture mode, picture mode, and then you go to blue whenever you press picture mode, rack that one all the way out to the other side. You don't have to go to these extremes. Once you get better at it, you'll understand. But now you can genuinely see that there is a red, a green, and a blue. So now I'm going to do it the opposite way this time. Go back to picture mode, and now it's red. So once you start bringing the red back into the green, it's going to make it yellow. See now it's yellow and blue? So now what you're going to do is bring the blue back over, because it's all going to change colors until it's a solid white line. So that looks pretty good right there. Now I'm going to go picture mode again, and it's going to change it to blue. Bring the blue back. And it's disappearing, disappearing, and I think it's gone. So this is like one of those like magic eye things. You can sit there and really spend a lot of time on this. And let's just look at the, the overall um, formula over here. You can't copy and paste this from projector to projector. Each projector is different, so it matters the, the focus. It matters you know, the, the projector itself. So just, uh, just take that into consideration. This does take a little time to do. Um, I, I do want to go back and verify that the red, I'll show you that one as well. But uh, other than that, that is pretty much it. So next thing you're going to want to do, let me pop the lights back on. So next thing you're going to do, let me just verify red. So now red is negative three on the horizontal and seven on the vertical. Again, you can't copy and paste these for your particular projector. So just go through this protocol, you'll figure it out. Next thing you're going to do is go into focus. So since you're sitting there aligning the panels, right, sometimes the focus can get out of whack. So you're going to have to do this a couple different times to make sure that it's 100% perfect. So now that this is done, we're going to go back into focus, lens control. Since this is a JVC, we're going to rack focus again. So it was a little bit out. And to rack focus, you have to be right up on, right up on it to actually see it. Don't rack focus from the back of the room. Now that that's perfect, you're done. And that's it. So really aligning the panels, it takes a little time, takes a little effort. If you're spending your extra money, if you have a theater that you really care about, you're going to want to spend the extra time and, and, and uh, get this thing 100% dialed in because really what's the point if you're not super happy with what you're, you're getting. So um, this is a little pro tip that I learned from Chris from JVC. He helped me out do this for you guys. So I've just basically just been doing it every other um, customer's house that I've seen so far. So. That's it. That's quick and easy how to align your projector. You can do this with any reflective projector. And that's about it. So I really appreciate you guys for watching. And don't forget, if you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, reach out and share your support. You know, here at Dream Media, we do love putting together some systems. And now, well, the last few years, we have shipped throughout the entire nation. So anywhere you guys are in the country, give us a shot. We'd love to put together a package for you, itemize it all. We can give you different options too at all different price ranges, guys. It doesn't need to be the biggest, baddest thing. Um, obviously, you know that we pride ourselves on having all the industry leaders available for you guys. But we also have very entry-level products as well. So reach out today and share your support, guys. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below. That's all for today, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. This is Zach, Chris, and Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.